In the first video, we showed you how we captured our heads and now we'll talk about processing the images. In order to process the goofy face photos we captured of Will on the Esper rig, I used a paid software called Reality Capture. I imported the photos and aligned them all together. Next, I created a virtual head and once that was ready, I deleted the mesh areas we didn't need for further processing. Final step, I exported the file as FBX and brought that in Unreal Engine to create our metahuman. The process of bringing a polycam scan into Unreal is a little different than with Esper and Reality Capture. The first thing I did was I downloaded the model from Polycam and brought the GLTF file into Blender. Now typically these files import the models as fractured objects, so one of the things I did was stitch the mesh together to consolidate the model. Once I had solid geometry to work with, just like Shrada, I cleaned up the mesh until I was left with just her head. Then I exported the file as an FBX and it was all ready to use in Unreal Engine. All right, so now let's bring in this mesh. We're just gonna drag and drop it straight in here. And there we go. So it brings in three different assets here. We have a material, we have the Shrada mesh, and we have the uh, texture map for it as well. Now we have the MetaHuman option here in our context window. We're gonna create a MetaHuman identity. And let's open her up here and make that window bigger. And we're gonna go here, we're gonna find our Shrada mesh, and that'll bring her in here. And we look for Will's head. We go to neutral pose, and we try to frame him. Okay, now that I like my frame, I've set it to 35, I'm going to promote this frame. And that looks pretty good. So we're gonna promote that frame. We're gonna track the active frame. And there we go, we can see that it's been tracked, so it's properly identified all the eyes and the mouth there. Next step is selecting MetaHuman Identity Solve. I'm just going to select a body type. There's not that many to choose from. We can play with more uh, adjustments when we get into the MetaHuman Creator, so this is just to start off with. We'll hit Mesh to MetaHuman. Perfect, okay, so our MetaHuman is now available in the Creator Bridge. So what that means is we can go to metahuman.unrealengine.com. We're gonna select the version of Unreal Engine that we're using, that's 5.1, and we're gonna launch MetaHuman Creator. Oh man, oh my God. I don't think, I don't think we can work with this. Let's see what Will has to say. And this is just kind of the base mesh view that we have here, but we can, if we go into skin, then we can Assign a skin tone. Yeah, Shada, do you want to come take a look at your metahuman? Here it is. Oh. Let's just <laughs> let's give her a bit of hair yeah, first. Um, <laughs> but it has captured the face nicely. It is pretty good, yeah. And okay, I'm gonna uh, work on my character. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tweak it up a bit? We can swap after. Sure. We'll, we'll <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? Holy! That's, that's genuinely like the thing of nightmares right there. Whoa. Oh yeah. my god. We're gonna give this. That does not look like you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is a different person. Uh, okay, I mean, like, I, I knew we were supposed to do neutral facial expressions. I didn't know that this is why. <laughs> this yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went back and re-exported Will's neutral face expressions to give him an ideal metahuman. So, now that we've finished creating our ultra-realistic looking metahumans, it's time to give these characters some animation. Now we could animate them by hand with a mouse and keyboard, or we could animate them by body. Here at CERT, we can capture motion data using our OptiTrack system. This will help us achieve lifelike movement that should blend well with our digital humans. I'm excited. Next stop, mocap. Let's suit up. What are you doing? Let's get back to work. So what do we have going on here? 
Okay, so the next step is uh, switching on all of our OptiTrack cameras. We, this is our stage, as you can see. OptiTrack cameras are basically 3D tracking systems that will help us capture our motion. To help us uh, control this movement and the data that we capture through these cameras, we are using the software called Motif. As you can see, we have our stage and our cameras inside the 3D space in Motif. So these cameras here uh, directly link with our cameras in real space. That's in the right. Stage. That's right. All right. So can I just hop in there and we can start recording my data? Sure. You can go ahead. I'm going to create a skeleton of you and we should be good to go. All right. So we'll be able to see Will walk onto the wow. stage. There you go. There he there is. There we go. But we're not really seeing a body. So what we're going to do now is add a skeleton. I believe this is what we call point cloud. Will, could you please give me a T-pose? Sure. Okay, go here, new skeleton. This is the template that we're using. Uh, everything looks good and create. Whoa. There you go, there we have him. There I am. What does it look like when you come in? Hey. Oh, there you go, Hello. yeah. Hello. That doesn't work. <laughs> Actually, it, it's not too bad though. It's like you get the idea. Okay. Hey, I, I want my skeleton. I'll go, yeah, I'll go enable yours. Okay. Okay. Oh! There we hey. go, there we go, okay. There okay. we are, there we are, we're in here. What the heck? Wait. Our hands aren't perfect. Uh, I mean, mine's far from perfect. <laughs> what is this? Hold on, hold on, I have a solution though. Okay, I'll oh. be right back. Okay. 